as with brick and mortar industries that are slowly fading away to the globalism of the online world. So too will the traditional prediction market industry have to innovate to keep up with the sheer efficiency, reliability and security that the decentralized prediction markets promise to bring. Augur, Rep, has grabbed headlines lately with the launch of its highly anticipated prediction market earlier. This month, Ethereum-based futures market app Gnosis, GNO, is also under development and running on the Ethereum test net. Meanwhile, Bodhi, bought for barrel of oil equivalent, another decentralized application, has been operating on the Qtum mainnet since April 23, 2018. These decentralized prediction platforms aim to disrupt the institutional futures markets by lowering the barrier to entry, allowing more people to cast predictions on a global scale and increase the mind share of information, creating transparency in the prediction process via the blockchain ledger and smart contracts, increasing the integrity and accountability of payments, and lowering the cost to transact in the prediction markets. Predictions can be made on just about anything. 1. The financial markets. 2. Information in general. 3. Insurance claims. 4. Sports lotteries. Or 5. Anything that isn't immoral. For instance, the financial markets would gladly welcome Michael Berry number crunching predictions on what to invest in and the general information markets would benefit from open sourced information in which participants use their closed-source information and other resources they may have to support their prediction analysis. How does Bodhi work? Bodhi is a dApp that currently runs on the Qtum Qtum network. Using the QRC20 token bought in Qtum to run on the Qtum network, the team plans to include the Ethereum user base by allowing Bodhi to run on the Ethereum network through its cross-chain implementation initiative. They have already created the ERC-20 token Bodhi on Ethereum. Bo, the Bodhi Ethereum dApp is expected to be released on the Ethereum network in Q4 2018. According to Bodhi founder Shang Lin in an interview with Bitcoin Magazine on the Qtum platform, Qtum is used to pay for the transaction fees to operate on the Qtum network and to wager bets and the bot is used primarily to arbitrate against bad actors, Lin said. In this way, both Qtum and bot are needed to power the Bodhi dApp on the Qtum network. Similarly, when Bodhi is released on the Ethereum network, Ether will be used to pay for the Ethereum network transaction fees and to wager bets and Bo will be used mainly to arbitrate against bad actors, according to Lin. Although the current version only supports wagering with Qtum, the Bodhi dApp is designed to scale and allow it to use any cryptocurrency that is not a security, meaning it can eventually run on stable coins and others. This larger scope means more people will be able to contribute their research and place a bet on that research to predict the outcome of a prediction which should lead to better prediction results. Bodhi uses third-party oracles to verify predictions. To further increase autonomy, when the bot per barrel of oil equivalent holders involved in a prediction can test the result, bot per barrel of oil equivalent holders can each participate in voting directly for the answer themselves. If a previous round's result is not contested within 48 hours, It is then locked in and becomes the final result of the prediction. However, if the prediction result is contested within the time limit, then the new round requires 10% more bot per barrel of oil equivalent than in the previous round to place a vote on. The new result in the current round, the result from the previous round, S, is no longer able to be voted on in the current round. For example, Consider there are four prediction results to vote on. A, B, C and D. If the previous round spot per barrel of oil equivalent holders majority vote resulted in answer A in the last round, then in the current round, any result other than A can be voted on. 
and it's only in a round after the current one that prediction result A can be voted on again. This voting process continues until the bot per barrel of oil equivalent holders no longer contest the result. This helps dial in the result to the correct result by requiring 10% more bot per barrel of oil equivalent than in the previous round to cast a vote. The voting process is meant to make it harder for bad actors to overpower the system and it uses game theory as a theory of conflict resolution, according to Lin. The question of immoral predictions is a real concern. However, Bodhi seeks to address this by allowing bot per barrel of oil equivalent stakeholders to moderate the community by voting on which predictions the community deems illegal or malevolent which, in turn, should allow the stakeholders to preserve their shared interest in the platform as you're the road map. Lin said Bodhi is developing a social media plugin to put the power of the decentralized prediction market at the fingertips of social media users. Starting with the social media platform WeChat, creating a seamless integration between the centralized and the decentralized. Lin described it this way. User experience and user growth are the two key metrics for building a widely adopted prediction market. The Bodhi social network plugin will allow users to create a prediction market directly within a social network and easily share it with their friends to participate. Imagine that you are in a WeChat group. While you are talking about some topic, you create a prediction event with respect to that topic right away. And your friends can make predictions immediately. We are going to build a social network gadget that can associate your social network account with your Qtum, Ethereum wallet so that it will automatically take your input within a social network and synchronize it with Bodhi's prediction market. They also have Bodhi Lite in the works. The development of a lightweight Bodhi application client version, which is meant to remove the need for the Qtum desktop wallet in the DAP, Lin said. Disclosure. The writer holds both Qtum and Bot. Hashtag Gnosis Hashtag Qtum Hashtag Augur Hashtag Trading Hashtag Daps Hashtag Prediction Hashtag Bodhi